Hi all, welcome back. In this video, I am going to explain about prime ng charts. The prime ng charts internally using the chart JS library, which is an open source charting library. And in order to use the prime ng charts, the chart JS needs to be installed separately. So while installing the chart JS, you have to make sure the chart JS version should be above 3.3.2 otherwise it won't work so this is the charges um, website in that you can see different versions available so i am going to use the three series not the four series i am going to use the three series for now okay so the first step is we have to install the charges library which I am going to install as 3.9.1. So for installing that, you can uh, use this command npm install charges 3.9.1 save. Once this has been installed, it will be available in the package.json file. So it will be available in the package.json file with the charges versions, which we have mentioned. So once charges has been installed our next step is to uh, add the script of charges in the angular.json file so go to angular.json file and in the script section you can mention node modules charges this charges so this is the second step once this has been done, we are ready to use the chart module from the prime ng, which internally uses chart.js inside our applications. So after saving that, go to the module.ts file. <clears throat> In the module.ts file, you have to import two things. One is chart module and one is browser animations module. So if you want to add the animations, if you want to see the animations inside the charts, you have to inst you have to use the browser animations module, else you can leave it. Now I have to import the chart module and the browser animations modules inside import section. So in the import, you can add these two modules. Once that has been imported, go to the HTML file and you can use uh, this is the prime ng chart component so p chart then you can mention two properties one is the type property and one is the data property so type property which will accept uh, a string which can be either a bar or pi donut um, then line radar and polar area so these are the options available for the type you should be use either of these okay and for the data section you can pass the data you want to see as a chart in my case i want to see as a bar chart so i have to pass some data so this basic data i have to add this variable inside my component or ts file so i am just adding a variable called basic data any and inside this this dot basic data so it ha it will be it accept an object which has a labels and data sets so labels which is an array and data sets which is also an array okay so again in the data sets so in the labels you have to mention so i'm just copying those things okay so in the labels you can mention which are the things we have to show in the x axis okay so q1 q2 q3 q4 are the things i'm because you can if you want you can give the you know to more understandable you can give january february any months or any dates whatever you want i am giving q1 q2 q3 q4 and in the data sets i am just giving a label to understand uh, the data set uh, then first data set and i am giving the data okay so once this has been done save you can see the charts here okay so you can see the charts with the first data set and you can see q1 q2 q3 q4 and based on the data we are passing it's automatically showing a bar chart 
so this is how we can uh, implement a simple bar chart the next step is like if you want to add some colors because here it is fully gray color and if you want to add some colors what you can do is go to this component.ts file and you can give background for each data sets you can give separate colors so here background color then I am giving it as a green color if I am giving like that all the bars will be green color and this this one is also green color and if you want to give different colors for different one that is also possible okay so red yellow blue so four colors will be available then if you want to add the borders so border color if you want to give the border color so i'm it's, it's again an array for a different options if the different bars you can give the different colors now i am giving a one color black but it won't appear until you are giving a border width okay so border width i am giving one see there is a border everywhere so these are the borders okay so uh, this is a options available okay so and also if you want to um, add another data set so I'm just going to give another data sets so this is the second data set and I am giving So this is a another data set. So that is in gray color. So if you want to change a background color, back okay, the same thing. So here I'm going to make it as a green, and this whole thing I'm going to make it as a blue color. Okay. And I'm going to remove this one for now. If you want different colors for different set data set, so you can mention like that. Okay, so this is how we can implement uh, a bar chart. The similar way, if you want to change for, so I'm just removing the second data set now. And if, uh, if you want to give a pie chart, you can see. So this height you know if in order to reduce the height and width uh, what you can give us you can give height specifically here the height equal to so automatically this will be a responsive so if you are giving 80 um, vh and width equal to 40 vw so it will be adjusted automatically okay and if you are giving a pixel size that means that is not a responsive so you have to give responsive equal to false so this will be very small so you can adjust accordingly so it's not responsive so i'm just reverting it back to uh, vh and vw height and width okay so this is uh, this is how it looks the pie chart looks the same way um, then you can give a donut chart donut see and also as I mentioned you can change you know blue green yellow orange see it looks you know good now and the next chart is line 
this is the line chart and radar chart radar chart then next one is polar yeah so these are the different types of charts available okay so now you learn uh, about how to uh, adjust the height and width also so one more thing and if it is you know the bar okay let's again go to the bar section okay so these are the different options available for the type and the data also i have shown in the data itself we can customize lots of things but if you want to you know customize some general things like you know it's it's per data set we can change it but if you want to change something generally what you can do there is an another property called options options and you can mention basic i'm just going to create a variable called basic options in the component so go to the component section and the same way i'm going to create this dot basic options equal to it is an object okay so uh, for different versions of the chart js this way of implementing the options is also different not implementing the options are different for example i am just not going to give any background color here and going to give okay and if you want to generally give an option in the configurations for example if i want to give a title for this one you can see inside options whichever uh, the you know key value pair it is coming you can copy so we have to give plugins and you have to give the title so i'm just copying the object inside the options here directly paste it here so let me save this html file as well you can see custom chart title the similar way you can go to the documentation of this chart and if you want to you know change the color so this is the point one this is the line configuration and this is a bar configuration so if i want to change the background color instead of the gray i have to change something else you can either give in the data set or you can generally add it so here you can see inside options elements bar so you have to give inside options then you have to give maybe i can remove this one for now elements then bar bar then you can give the background color background color is red you see see it worked so you can uh, add the options different colors different radius if you increase the padding uh, you know the spacing stuff if you want to change the canvas background like this so the layout adding padding something like that so different options are available if you going through the chart js documentation you should be able to use the same stuff inside the basic options uh, so this is how you can implement multiple you can uh, customize this options based on the requirement and another example is if i want to uh, the if it is a bar chart and if i want to show in this uh, index axis as y then you can see the chart will be like this so there are lots of options available okay for this chart then next point is 
um, after this type data and options we will learn about some events available in the chart so there is one main event inside the chart is own data select so you can write any function select data which i will implement in the component file which accepts some event as well so the select data select data event any i am just console dot log of event here okay so if you see this one and if i click on particular bar this own data select will be triggered and it will have it has mainly the four options one is data set which is the selected data set which has these many options and which is a selected element which is the element we have selected and again it ha which has a data set index index of the data set in data and index of the data in data set see so there is a data set index and the index so you will be able to see those details so this is the main stuffs available inside the prime ng charts which internally using the chart js so for more um, you know options i will prefer you better uh, refer the documentation of the correct version of the chart js so you will be able to um, change customize um, different types of charts with your requirement